Hey, hello, hello. Hello, guys. Hi, teacher. Hi, lady. How is it going? Oh, you got cough. You got cough. Tiene tos. You got cough. Oh, okay. I'm really sorry that you had, you are sick. Okay. <clears throat> Try not to speak too much. Okay. Not a problem. Try not to speak. Trate de no hablar. Because you have cough a lot. Okay. No problem. Use the chat. Okay. If you can, if you want to participate, you can use the chat. Okay. Good. Hello, Elmer. How is it going to you? How are you, Elmer? Elmer, Elmer, how are hello, you? Hello, 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 hello. hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how Mr. Are you? Uh, I am okay, thanks. And you? Okay. Uh, uh, ah, bien, muy bien. Good. Okay, I am good. good. Sí. good Very good. good. All right, perfect. Okay, nice. Hello, Daniela uh, Salvador. Salvador, Antonio, and Sandra, Maritza. Hello, guys. Okay. Good evening, teacher. Hey, good evening. Hello. Nice to hear you. Hello, Daniela. Nice to hear you, too. Oscar is just joined. Uh, and Sandra, Maritza is there. Okay, perfect. Nice to see you. Hi, guys. Okay, after the weekend, the weekend is gone. Um, Let's see, an announcement. Please, this section, section five is this week. Try to complete the section as soon as possible. Tan pronto sea posible, complete the section number five. That is the last one. This week, if we finish. Then we have a case. Do you have vacations in, in August? Ah, okay, nice, Oscar. You completed. Perfect. You completed section five. Guys, are you have vacations? Do you have vacations in, in August? Yes. You do? All right. You have vacations, uh, Sandra, vacations in August? No. <gasps> no, why not? No vacations. No, toda esta semana la tuve de vacación. Ah, and where, what do you do? What eh, do you do? Con mi hermana. No, no, I mean, what do you do? Profession or occupation, remember? Occupation. Uh -huh. But what do you do? Eh, niñera. Ah, babysitter. Babysitter <laughs> in English. <laughs> okay. Babysitter. In the chat, check the chat. There it is. Ahí está en el chat, babysitter. You are a babysitter. Ah, okay. <laughs> difficult. That job is difficult with with kids. <laughs> cuatro, cuatro babies. Four babies taking care of four babies. Wow. Incredible. Okay, no vacations. All right, then you are, uh, let's see, Daniela, vacations. Do you work, Daniela? Yes. You work? Okay. You have vacations in, in August? Yes. Ah, cool. If you have them. Cool. All right. Perfect. Okay, guys. Uh, welcome to this class. Uh, let me share the, the computer in this moment with you. Today, we have the class number you remember the class number class class number okay let me know if you see the zebras the smiling zebras in the picture you see them you see them yes, right yes. yes yes okay i don't know what person took the picture but it's a great photograph nice photograph check that the zebra's smile is pretty difficult. You have to be ready to take the picture. Okay, let's see class number ah, 13. This is today's class, number 13. Okay, 
Welcome everyone, beginner model two, your model. This week we finish. This is the last week of your model. Okay, let's see, let's go directly with the topic. Okay, a sport, a sport, a sport should be in singular, a sport a stars. Okay, this is the topic, a sport a stars. Yes. Okay. Do you like a sport? Do you watch any sport on TV? Or do you practice any sport? Guys? Babysitter is not a sport. It should be. Debería ser, right? Babysitter is not a sport, but it should be. Do you practice any? Basketball, baseball, uh, football, swimming. Don't you practice any? I sometimes play soccer. Ah, that's cool, Oscar. You sometimes play soccer. That's cool. Where do you play? In the university, in your job? In my work. Ah, you have a team? Yes. Cool. Where, where do you go to play, guys, with your team? Where? What field? In what field? Um, let's see. It's, uh, Chapupo field. Uh, uh, how do you say football sala? Ah, okay. In football, indoor football, I guess. Indoor football. football. Yes, I'm not pretty sure, but let's investigate. Indoor football. Let's check. Picture and uh, indoor football. Yes, this is the one. Okay, that's cool. This is a nice sport. All right. Anyone else? Do you practice any sport? Lady, a sport? Do you practice any? No. Sandra? Carla? Daniela? Mm -hmm. Jessica? Kevin? No. No sports? No. <laughs> No. Antes. Ah, antes in English. Antes. Um, before. 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 Subwell. Ah, before. Ahora completemos la oración. Before. What is the subject? Como digo, yo practic antes yo practicaba softball. Ajá. Uh -huh. Remember, subject, verb, and complement. I. Ah, before I. Played. Mm, yeah, played. Okay, regular, check. Regular, simple, past. And the sport? Softball. So, how do you write softball? Soft, like this? Softball, mm -hmm. like is that the sport? Let me check. Uh, softball. Ah, uh, is this the one? Like baseball? Yes. Similar. Okay, this is the one. Okay, yeah, women play softball. I used. Ah, yes, lady, you're right. Aquí hay otra forma de decir. Ya, ah, yo antes jugaba, pero literalmente dice. Solía jugar softball. I used. Correct. Esta es otra forma en la que puedo decir. I used, but in past, pero en pasado. Check. In past. I used to play softball. En la primera dice, yo antes jugaba. Y en la segunda, yo solía jugar. Different, but in the simple past, both. Las dos están en simple past. Correct? Nice. Okay, pretty cool. All right, no more sports? No? Okay, let's check what we have. What else? Good. How much? What is the question? What is the question on the screen? How much? 
How much? Can you read it, guys? Anyone can read it? Hello? Can you read it? How read? much do you uh, know about sports? I know a lot about sports. Not a lot, a lot, a lot. But I know about sports. Okay. Who is... Question. Elmer? Who is the sports star? Okay, and the second question is? What sport does, does he play? Does. 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 Does he play? Correct. Okay. Who is this sport a start? Do you know, guys? Do you know him? He is Benzema. He is Benzema. Okay. That is for the question one. And the question two? What sport does he play? Soccer. Uh, soccer. Yes, it's true. But the complement, subject verb complement, it's incomplete. It's, it's like completa, pero incomplete. Okay. He is soccer playing. Okay. okay. Check the question. The question is, what sport does he play? Huh? Sería? He, he plays football, soccer. Now it's complete. Ahora está completo. He plays football, soccer. Okay, nice. He's been semi famous, famous in the world. Okay, then let me check. This one, who is he? Who is this sport? A star. Do you know the sport? What is this sport? Tennis. Uh huh. And this is sport a start. Do you know him? No. no. Okay. Rafa. Ah, correct. Rafa. Rafa Nadal. He is Rafa Nadal. Correct. He is Rafa Nadal. And he plays. He plays. Chess? Ajedrez? No? Play soccer. Uh, tennis. Soccer? No, is, this is no, not soccer. Tennis. It's tennis. Correct. It's tennis. Okay, pretty good. The next one. Who are they? Do you know? Do you know him? Do you know them? This team, do you know the team? El Salvador team. El Sal that is El Salvador's team, correct. El Salvador's team. And they play? They play soccer. They play soccer, correct. They play soccer. Subject, very complement, that's right. Okay, do we have any else? Anyone else? Ah, okay, she is? Gabi Isaguirre. What, what sport does she practice? She practices karate. karate. She practices karate. She practices. Did you see her on TV in the games? No. 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 Ah, okay. No. But she won she won a gold medal in karate. She yes. won it. She is the best. won it. She's yes, she is the best. No problems with her boyfriend, right? No problems. Everything is fine with with them. With they. Okay. Nice. Good good. You know her. Okay, what about him? This is for the start. Do you know this guy? Who is he? LeBron James. Okay, correct. You know about his sports. Good. He's LeBron. LeBron James. And the sport is swimming. Basketball. Yes, nice. basketball. It's basketball. Correct. Okay, nice. Good. All right, guys. We have some questions in this part. In number one, question. What sport do you like? Do you like? Ah, I like I like like uh, like around three sports. I like tennis. 
In first place, I like tennis. I like um, football, soccer. I like it. And I like uh, running. Run, no, no, I don't like basketball. Not much. I prefer running. I like running. And you, what sports do you like? What sports do you like? Okay, think, think for a moment. I like tennis, I like football, soccer, and I like running. Running is a sport as well. What about you? In my case, I like uh, soccer, and I like um, ping pong. Ah, ping pong. Okay, ping pong is is good. It's pretty um, fast. All right. Um, basketball. And basketball. You prefer basketball. Okay, cool. Karen, are you attracted uh, to any sport that you like? Karen, Stephanie, what sport do you like? Mm, I like basketball and soccer. Okay. Do you play? Uh, no, así no sé cómo hacer. Bueno, how do you say? Uh -huh. En inglés, eh, no sé jugarlo bien, pero me gusta el básquetbol. O sea, sí juego básquetbol y soy para Ah, eh, so sí, you play. Así, de relax. <laughs> ah, okay, good, good, good. ¿Cómo decimos si no somos buenos en algo, si nos cuesta o si no podemos? Hay diferentes formas. <laughs> Yeah. We can say, podemos decir, I play, I first, first is the subject, recuerden, el subject primero, subject, luego el verb, play, and then any complement, luego cualquier tipo de complement, I play basketball, but I don't play well, no juego bien. But I play, pero juego, right? <laughs> Así es. Okay. Option one. Option una, esta. Segunda opción. I'm not with the verb to be. I'm not good at basketball. Check. Okay. Ah, no soy bueno en básquet, pero me llega, me gusta. Karen, can you read it? Yes. I'm not good at basketball. Or? I play basketball, but I'm playing. Ok, well. pretty good. All right, there it is. ¿Qué está practicando aquí? Uh -huh. The simple... <laughs> Correct. Simple present... In affirmative, check. This is affirmative, affirmative sentence. And this is negative. in the negative. I don't. Okay, ya practicamos negative a little bit, right? Yes. Poquito, pero ya lo vimos. Okay, and this one, what is this? This one in blue. What is this? Mm -hmm. Anyone? Yes, yes. What is this? ¿Qué es esto? In blue. Stop. Uh, uh -huh. Close, close. Anda cerca. Close, close. Verbo to be. The verb to be, correct. I am. I'm. Contraction. Okay. So, Karen, you can say those two ways. These are the formas. Se dice, ah, que no puedo. Como digo, no puedo, basket, pero lo juego, ver. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I can't play basket, basketball very well. Okay. No puedo jugar basket muy bien, pero lo juega, right? There it is. Ahí está. Three ways, tres formas ahí. Okay. All right. Good. Then you, Elmer. 
Do you like any sport? Do you watch any sport on TV? No? Don't you like them? Hey, you don't no. like sports. No, no, bad, no. bad, bad. That is bad. Mal. <laughs> that you don't like sports. Sports are great. Are great. They are great. We have to practice any sport at least. Al menos uno, right? Okay. Let's check. Second question. Second question. Do... Practice. Uh -huh. That is sport. Do you practice that is sport? Do you practice basket? Do you practice football? No. 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 Okay. What is the difference between question one and question two? What is the difference? Difference? Question one and question two? Uh, gustar y practicar. Okay. All right. Okay. But this is open question. Open question. Cuando vea una pregunta que tenga de WH, ¿sí? Aquí está. WH word questions. This is one. Significa open question. Pregunta abierta. What sport do you like? ¿Y qué respondieron algunos? Ah, I like basketball, I like football, or I play, etc. And this one, this question, y cuando vea auxiliary in first place, cuando vea el auxiliar en primer lugar, what is that? What is that? The opposite, closed. Closed question. Pregunta cerrada. The two options. ¿Cuáles son las dos opciones de respuesta? Two options. I know. Yes, two. Yes, I. Ajá. The two options. For closed questions, para preguntas cerradas, closed questions, only two options. Closed questions. Check. For yes or no. Do you have children? Uh, lady, do you have children? Lady, uh, do you have children, kids, yes. babies? Uh, ah, yes, 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 I do. Ah, ah, ah okay. yes, I do. Yes, I do. Ahí solo la pregunta: ¿Tenía, ¿tiene niños, babies? Yes, dijo ella. Yes, I do. No, eh. No, no tengo. No. Ah, but you said I... yes, pero dijo yes. <laughs> no, es, es, es mi sobrino, pero no es mi hijo. Ah, ah it's different, right? <laughs> okay. So, the answer is... Uh -huh. The answer is no. Um, Entonces, ¿sería la respuesta? No. I don't. No, I don't. Correct. No, I don't. No, no tengo. No, I don't. Let's see... Uh, ta -da -da -da. Uh, Oscar, are you are you married? Are you are you married? No, I don't know. Mary. Ah, okay. Different question. Le pregunté primero a lady. Lady, do you have children? And she said, y ella dijo. Huh? No, I don't, dijo él. Ok, le pregunto a Oscar. Oscar, are you married? What is the answer? Respuesta. No, I don't marry. I don't okay. know marry. We can okay. say I don't know marry. marry. Mm, no, Mr. No. Why? ¿Por qué no? Because okay. we use don't know. Ok, check. The first question is the auxiliary. Está en auxiliary la primera. Auxiliary. But in, the, in your question, no auxiliary. Instead, uh, we have the verb to be. Está el verb to be. Entonces, are you married? Casado? Uh, I, how do you say? No, I don't. Uh, no. No. I, 
I I aren't. No. Uh -huh. I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, that is the answer. Esta es. No, I'm not. Ah, why? Por qué, teacher? Okay, auxiliary, auxiliary. Bird to be, bird to be. Okay, hay que fijarse qué tipo de question es. Pero amb ambas son cerradas. Solo hay dos opciones de respuesta, yes or no. All right. Y les pregunto, hey guys, in general, uh, <clears throat> did you have class uh, yesterday? Did you have class yesterday? What is the no, answer? No, we didn't. No. no, we didn't. Ah, correct. No, we didn't. Correct. No, we didn't. Ahí está. Good. Auxiliary did in simple past. Ahí está el auxiliary did in simple past. In the question. And the auxiliary in the answer. Y está en la, en la respuesta. Ok. You don't have to mix. No tiene por qué mezclar. Solo hay que fijarse en la pregunta. Uh, do you play basketball, guys? Do you? Do you play yes, basketball? Play. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, you do, Karen. Nice. All right. Do you play uh, tennis? Anyone plays tennis in the class? No? Yes? No. Okay. Are you are you single? Let's see. Gabriela, are you single? What is single, guys? What is single? Gabriela, are you single? What is single, guys? What is single? Que single? Soltero. Soltera. Uh -huh. Yes, Gabriela, are you single? Single? Uh -huh. Are you? Answer? She doesn't want to answer. No quiere contestar. Okay, no problem. <laughs> it's secret. Maybe it's a secret. Elmer, are you single? Elmer? No, I'm not. Okay, no. I'm not. Correct. Ahí está bien. Porque la pregunta era, are you single? Elmer. Okay, very good. Are you single? No, I'm not. Okay, very good. Okay, check. That is the difference. Open question and close. Close question. Next, open or close. Mm -hmm. Where the black, black is that spot? Where do you? You is missing. Le falta el you. Hoy sí. Where do you practice that sport? Close or open question, guys? Close okay. or open? It's open. Open. It's open. Correct. Because where? Porque está where ahí. Next. Mm -hmm. Next question. It's open. Can you read it? How often do you practice that sport? I am, let's see, tennis. I never, I never practice tennis. I never practice that sport. It's expensive. Tennis, playing tennis is expensive. I never play tennis. Okay, very good. Open or close? Close. Open. Open. Close. Because it's how. How often. Close. Están a menudo aquí. Necesito information. Cuando le pregunten. What? Where? How often? Mm, why? For example. Those are open questions. Todas las que tengan WH. They are open. Las que tengan auxiliary. They are close. Check. Bird to be. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Did. Auxiliary. Bird to be. Is close. Check. Close. 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 
Okay. Next, next part, the next part. What else? What else do we have? Next. Okay. A sports by season. These are some sports played or practiced by season in the US or Canada. The first link, it's a website that you can check. See, sports in seasons. Yes. Uh, let's check, what is that a sport? What is that a sport? Football Americano. Ah, soccer Americano. Mm, okay, we have I dos soccer that is American football. This one soccer only soccer solo soccer is this one. But if you say football soccer is the the next one, the other one, el otro football soccer. Check if you if you look for it, si lo busca, football soccer is this. And soccer or football. Check. American. This is the one, American. Okay. In fall, what is fall? What is fall? Mm -hmm. Okay. Fall in the Falling season, low. talking about the season, we are talking about seasons, estaciones. What is this season? <laughs> fall. 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 Uh -huh. Check. This is the season. What is this season in yeah. Spanish? <laughs> this season. Nobody otoño. knows? Yes, otoño. yes, otoño. This is the one, otoño, correct. Fall, August through December. December. Okay. What sports can you practice in August through December in the United States or Canada? The sport is cross country. Country. Cross country. Hey, do you know that is sport? Do you know? Do you know that is sport? I no? I think it's this with. Uh huh. Check. Check the picture. Cross country. What is that? Cruzar un país. <laughs> the sport. Uh, okay, the sport. We are talking in sports, cross country. Uh huh. Campo travies. Ah, uh, yes, literally, literalmente sí. Pero le podemos decir. Uh huh. Okay. Other synonym. Algún otro synonym. De campo traviesa. We don't say campo traviesa, right? No decimos eso. Okay. Carrera de. Uh -huh, carrera de bosque. Algo. I no, don't tom. remember. Marathon, yes. Marathon, correct. Okay. And we have the common, the common one, football. Football. Football, yes. If you look for it, football is this one. Football soccer. Okay. Because this is football, American football, this one. Okay. Soccer, we have this one. Next, the sport. Volleyball. Volleyball. Okay. And water. What this is not water polo. What is water polo? What is that a sport? Water polo. Ah, this one. This one, this one. Similar mm -hmm. to football, but in a pool. In una piscina. In a pool. Mm -hmm. Yes. This is water polo. Okay. In this one, what is this sport in this picture? Mm -hmm. What is this sport? Swimming. Swimming. Very good. 
Okay. What sports can you play in this season? What is this season? Invierno. Winter. Invierno. Correct. Invierno. Yes, invierno. Okay. In winter, you can play October through March. You can play? Basketball. Basketball. Bowling. Hey, I like bowling. I didn't remember. No recordar about bowling. Do you like bowling? Galaxy bowling? Have you visited the place? Have you played it? No? No, no, no. Hey, go to Galaxy yes. bowling. It's pretty cool. Bowling. What is bowling? Boliche. Boliche. Uh -huh. Bolos, boliche, correct? Yeah, it's pretty cool. Go and play. Buy and play in the Galaxy bowling. Okay. Next. Next esgrima. sport, fencing. Fencing esgrima, really? Hey, yes. you know, you know about the sport. Ah, nice. Esgrima. Okay, it's cool. It's pretty cool. Next sport, ice hockey. hockey. Ice hockey. And you have next indoor indoor track. track. In field. field. What is this sport? Indoor track and field. What's that? Yes. Let's check. Ah, okay. Like running. Mm. Similar. Yes. Similar. Indoor. Indoor is <clears throat> dentro. Next. Rifle. Rifle. What is that sport? Rifle, sport, sport, not the gun, no el arma. Ajá. Uh -huh. Tiro al blanco. Uh, like that, yes. Sí, como es. Correct, tiro al blanco. Next, skin. We have a skin. That is this sport. Ah, uh -huh. this is the one. Esquiar. Esquiar, Esquiar. Esquiar correct. Esquiar. Uh, next. Swimming. And diving. Okay, swimming. Wrestling, competitive cheer, etc., etc., etc. Okay. In hey, this is sport. What is the one? Baseball. Baseball, okay. Guys, you can continue checking <clears throat> about the sports in this website. You can read and practice uh, about and know about the sports in this website. It's pretty cool. Okay. What about the second link? Let's check. Ah, extreme. A hey, extreme. Deportes. Extremo. Do you like extreme sports? Do you like any? Do you like it? No, no Karen. I... Why not? Yeah. Why? Why? Any reason? Uh -huh. Any reason? Alguna razón? Why you don't like them? Dangerous. It's dangerous. Dangerous. They are, but they are cool as well. They are <laughs> dangerous and cool. Okay, extreme sports. Okay, indication, indication. Carmen talks. Carmen talks to to avoid water. White water. Uh -huh. White yeah, water expert. rafting Rafting. expert Where? and and parkour. A parkour. parkour. Enthusiast. 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 Okay. All right. Let's let's check this. But first, the instructions. Do the preparation. The preparation. Fish. Fish. Then watch the video. Next. And do. Task. And do. And do the activity. If you need help. Need help 
-hmm. You can read the transcript, transcript at any time. Time, time, time. Time. Anytime. <laughs> Correct, any time. Okay, let's do the preparation is, is quickly. Before you watch, antes de ver, think about the following questions. Okay, we have the first question. Number one. <coughs> what what extreme... extreme sport do you know? Okay, question for you. What extreme sports do you know? Uh, motocross. Ah, motocross. Oh, that is cool. Let's see. Motocross, motocross. Hey, in El Salvador, we have a, a new field. Racing Where field. Yes, it's new and pretty cool. I like motocross. I didn't remember about this sport. No me acordaba. But it's cool. Pretty cool. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> what else? Extreme sports, do you know? Any other? Ski. Ah, ski. Ski. In the mountain. Mountain. With the mountain. With, with, with the snow. Ah, with the snow. Ah, okay, but that is in, in, in winter. Okay, yeah. skiing. That, that is a sport, it's skiing. This one, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, it's pretty cool, but in El Salvador, no is no. <laughs> Unfortunately, no is no. Okay, in other countries, yes, Canada, the United States, any other. Okay, good. Um, can... uh -huh. Which one? Well, room car, room, carrera de carro. Ah, you racing. Mean, racing. Uh, racing, racing, racing. You mean? Ah, oh, racing. Uh -huh. Ah, racing, racing. Uh -huh. Ah, racing. Correct. This is, this is extreme. It's true. A lot extreme. Racing. Okay. Legal. Legal, ah, yeah, because we have illegal in El Salvador, illegal, illegal racing, dangerous, yes, dangerous, dangerous. Okay, and have you, have you, or has anyone you know try? Okay, no matter. What are the most popular extreme sports in your country in El Salvador? Do we have any extreme sports? Do you have any in El Salvador, any extreme sport? Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Which one? Maybe coconut. Uh, coconut. Is surf. that a sport? Ah, surf. Uh huh. That is popular. Yes, it's popular. Correct. In what is the beach? In which beach uh, you can practice surf? What is the beach? Que playa? Mm -hmm. Don't remember the beach. Punta Roca. You can practice there. Surf. Okay. Now, watch the video to find out more about extreme sports. Okay, let's watch the video. Attention, please. sports are popular all over the UK, not just in the mountains of Snowdonia or Scotland. But what attracts people to these sports? Is it adventure or danger? People who enjoy fast and dangerous sports, like whitewater rafting, are called thrill seekers or adrenaline junkies. I'm at the National Water Sports Centre in Nottingham in the centre of England and this is the White Water Course, 700 metres of foaming water with drops or rapids and the skill is to stay afloat in the rough water.
to meet Paz Blackwell, a whitewater rafting expert, and to find out why so many people enjoy the thrills and spills of this extreme sport. Hi, Paz. Hi, Carmen. So this is a specially built course, but you raft on rapids all around the world. What do you most enjoy about whitewater rafting? Oh, I really enjoy being outdoors and on the water. I really enjoy the freedom of just you and nature. And I really enjoy the challenge. So why do people like dangerous sports? I think people like to push themselves, to see how far they can go, to really test themselves against the elements, water and air. So are you an adrenaline junkie? I don't think of myself as an adrenaline junkie, but I do really enjoy the rush of trying to get from the top to the bottom and get through situations that occur out on the river. In the countryside, there are lots of wide open spaces and lots of extreme sports to choose from. But what do adrenaline junkies do in the city? Well, parkour, sometimes called free running, is becoming popular in London. Parkour started in France, and the idea is to get from one place to the other as fast as possible, jumping and climbing over whatever is in the way. to a parkour class in West London to find out what it's all about. Rebecca Ahmed has been doing parkour for more than a year. So Rebecca, why do you like parkour? Um, it's really fun, it's original and it keeps me fit, so that's why I come. Do you need any special equipment? Um, not really, we just use what's around us, like steps, railings and trees. But as long as you've got a good pair of trainers, you're fine. Is it difficult? I wouldn't say it's difficult. It's more about the fear. If you're not scared, you can do it. I've got the balance for parkour. Extreme sports can be dangerous, but they're also lots of fun. Okay, the second time, but with the transcript, you have it in this uh, below the video in this website. You can watch it again and follow the reading with the transcript. I'm going to play it a second time. And you can watch it. Uh, just a moment. Uh, -da -da, and the transcript. Okay? Follow the reading. sports are popular all over the UK, not just in the mountains of Snowdonia or Scotland. But what attracts people to these sports? Is it adventure or danger? People who enjoy fast and dangerous sports, like whitewater rafting, are called thrill seekers or adrenaline junkies. I'm at the National Water Sports Centre in Nottingham in the centre of England and this is the White Water Course, 700 metres of foaming water with drops or rapids and the skill is to stay afloat in the rough water. to meet Paz Blackwell, a whitewater rafting expert, and to find out why so many people enjoy the thrills and spills of this extreme sport. Hi, Paz. Hi, Carmen. So this is a specially built course, but you raft on rapids all around the world. What do you most enjoy about whitewater rafting? 
Oh, I really enjoy being outdoors and on the water. I really enjoy the freedom of just you and nature. And I really enjoy the challenge. So why do people like dangerous sports? I think people like to push themselves, to see how far they can go, to really test themselves against the elements, water and air. So, are you an adrenaline junkie? I don't think of myself as an adrenaline junkie, but I do really enjoy the rush of trying to get from the top to the bottom and get through situations that occur out on the river. In the countryside, there are lots of wide open spaces and lots of extreme sports to choose from. But what do adrenaline junkies do in the city? Well, parkour, sometimes called free running, is becoming popular in London. Parkour started in France, and the idea is to get from one place to the other as fast as possible, jumping and climbing over whatever is in the way. to a parkour class in West London to find out what it's all about. Rebecca Ahmed has been doing parkour for more than a year. So Rebecca, why do you like parkour? Um, it's really fun, it's original and it keeps me fit, so that's why I come. Do you need any special equipment? Um, not really. We just use what's around us, like steps, railings and trees. But as long as you've got a good pair of trainers, you're fine. Is it difficult? I wouldn't say it's difficult. It's more about the fear. If you're not scared, you can do it. I'm not sure I've got the balance for parkour. Extreme sports can be dangerous, but they're also lots of fun. Okay, finish, let's finish. Uh, we have two exercises after the video. Uh, vocabulary, put the words in the correct groups. Group, uh, we have two groups. The first group is the sport, parkour. Second group is? Uh -huh. White. Water rafting. Rafting. Okay. Uh, number one, in which sport you do this? In which sport? Parkour or white water rafting? In which group? We have only two. One and two. What is the group for jumping? Yeah. In which I group? Parkour. 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 Okay. Next. Next word. Uh, what is that? Rapping. Uh, rapids, right? Rapids. Uh, okay. This one. Drops. Uh, par parkour. Parkour. Drops in parkour. Okay. Uh, what about foaming? Foaming. Foaming, foaming. In which group? Foaming ideas. In which group is foaming? Yes. If uh -huh. if you make a mistake, no problem. We can find um, out. Water. Foaming Rapping. is water. Okay. Next, mm -hmm. climbing. Climbing, parkour, parkour, and steps mm. in in which group? Steps. Which one? In which mm -hmm. one? Steps. And parkour también. Parkour. Oh. Okay. Okay, no problem. 
Uh, we can check finish. Hey, only one incorrect, but drops, drops, in goes in water. Drops. What is drops? What is drop? Drop, drop. What is drop? Gotas. Gota. But are we talking about gotas in the video? Is the video talking about gotas? Okay, not the context. Sí significa gota, pero no es el context del video. Drops is when you go in water rafting, you you go down. Ajá, in the rapids. Cuando va por los rapids, por los rápidos de, del river. Son caídas, las caídas libres. Ok, drops. Por eso está en Debería estar en white water rafting. Okay. And task number two, it says choose the best answer based on the video. Okay. And this one, can you read it? What? What can, can. Mm -hmm. with our people when you Okay, uh, you have four options. What can we call people who enjoy dangerous sports? Option one, fear, seekers, or adrenaline, oh, adrenaline. junkies, junkies. Option two. Thrill, thrill yeah, junkies, okay. or adrenaline, adrenaline, seeker, seeker. Uh -huh. option three, adrenaline, adrenaline junkie, junkie, or thrill, seeker, or option four, thrill, junkies, junkie, or thrill, seeker. Or thrill seekers. What option do you think is the correct one? Option one, option two, three, or four. According with the video, check. Choose the best answer based on the video. And we read the transcript. Leemos también el transcript. Check. Uh huh. What option, what option, what option in this one? Okay, if you're not sure, you can check in the transcript. You can look for the answer in this part. Mm -hmm. People, here it is, aquí está. People who enjoy fast, and then your sport like white water rafting are called question two uh, uh question option option two option two thrill seekers or adrenaline no yeah. it's no. not option Four. two Four. uh fear no uh, Four. three, three. Number three, option three, Number one, three. two, three. Adrenaline, it says thrill seekers. One teacher. Or adrenaline junkies. Mm, fear seekers, no. It doesn't start with fear. No comienza con fear, aquí. Thrill seekers. Uh -huh. Ah, it's option. It's, it's only the order. Yeah. The thing is the order. So the order can be acá. Thrill seekers, aquí está, thrill seekers, or uh, adrenaline I... junkies. So option is number three. Option three. Okay. <laughs> Guys, it's already 10 o'clock. 
I didn't realize. No me di cuenta. Okay. Uh, you can complete this exercise uh, in the with the with the presentation. The link is here. Aquí está el link. Okay. Practice with with this exercise about the sports and finish this task number two. Okay. The link is there. Ahí está el link in this part. Okay, guys, uh, that's it. Thank you for joining today class. Uh, see you tomorrow for the class number 14. Okay? Don't forget section, section number five. Try to complete it. See you. See you tomorrow. Have a great night. See you tomorrow. And night. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Thank you guys for joining. Bye. See you. See you tomorrow. Bye. Have, Bye. A, have a great day tomorrow. Goodbye. Good night. Good Thanks. Night. Thanks a lot. Yeah, sir. Sure. See night. you. See you tomorrow. Good night as well. Rest. Rest a lot. Take care.